move over Tiger Woods. They're already saying that there is a new golf superstar. And his name, yeah, Rory McIlroy. Unlike the Masters, there was no final day collapse. The kid was the real deal, leading the U.S. Open from start to finish to capture his first major golf tournament. Hey, the perfect gift to share with his dad on Father's Day. And he played it cool today with the entire sports world watching, waiting for him to choke because he came in with a huge eight-stroke lead. But he didn't mess up, and he wasted little time adding to that lead on the first hole, knocking in that birdie putt, which was a huge boost of confidence to start his round. For sure it was. Skip to the fourth hole. McElroy's swing is a work of art. Look at this. His approach from about 122 yards, but it's how he's doing it. Right on target, as it was all day. It spins, he would tap that in for birdie to drop to 15 under. Bill Murray looking good in a different way. Yeah, good with the putter. Carl Spackler of Caddyshack fame drops it like it's hot. Yeah, and he celebrates a little bit there. Final round, Pebble Beach, Pro-Am, Mickelson paired up with Tiger, just like old times, except the result, totally different. Mickelson on his game, no bogeys on the card. This was sweet, an eagle, fast start, five under through his first six. Tiger had a case of the yips, or you can call him case of the Tigers. He's so bad these days. Bogey, bogey, bogey on seventh. More trouble here on the eighth and the ninth. You beat up on him when he's bad because he finished 15th. Tiger, hefty lefty though, dialed in. Six birdies and great shots most of the day. Playing on the course where his grandfather grew up as a caddy. He got the caddy bounce and the members bounce on this one. Rolls up for the tap in birdie. And somehow playing with Tiger always brings up the best in Phil. A final round, 864 for the 40th win of his career over Charlie Wee. And he talked about playing with Woods in the final round. I, I just feel very inspired when I play with him. I love playing with him. And he brings out some of my best golf. And going back to Pebble Beach, you know, uh, Phil Mickelson, strong golf out of him. Do you think he could contend for another major this year? No, I, th I thought he was done. I don't know how he did this. I'm sorry, Phil. I just, uh, <laughs> I have no idea. New stars, please rise to the table. I think he can do it. Okay, you know what I mean? Right. He can rise to the challenge if Tiger's going to lose if he's Tiger playing. Woods. Yeah, only if he's playing with Tiger. He's got to play with Tiger every round. So. Final round of the Farmers the Insurance team. Open. Kyle Stanley, Stanley came in with a five-shot lead, but clear. could he hang on for the big seconds. check? Brad Snedeker nipping at his heels all day and on 18 from about 89 yards. He avoids the water, drops it on the dance floor, a little spin from 89 yards and a couple of feet from the hole he would make birdie to finish 16 under. Stanley on 18 with a three shot lead. This is to win the tournament. Looks to finish it off and win his first PGA event. Approach on the green, looks good. He pulls the string and the bottom falls out. Oh no, how bad could it be? Heads for the water, stops, and then drops in. That is a $300,000 mistake. But Stanley, hey, hey, he can still win by rolling in this putt for double bogey. He pushes it. How much pressure on these guys? So we're headed to a playoff, second playoff hole. Brant Snedeker rolls in his putt for par. So Stanley needs to hit his to force a third playoff hole. But you saw his putting on 18. This was the same, a push. He led by as many as seven strokes, totally collapsed. This is what I love about golf. Snedeker wins the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines. And a little more golf by England's Robert Rock held off Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy to win the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship.